fabulous. Welcome to Dance Quiz. My name's Glenn Britton. Thanks for joining me this week as we bring you Highland Dancing. Very special guest star coming back is Mr. Luke Alava, the one and only Dancing Man. How are you, Sir Very well, Glenn. And we're covering Highland Dancing tonight. Unbelievable. Very good performances. Very hard, isn't it? Oh, yes. And our first performance tonight is Maddity Highland Dance Studio. That's right. Uh, and the teacher is Heather. And joining her with a quiz is Sarah, 16 years old. Well done. I hope you enjoy the uh, Highland Dancing tonight, everyone. How are you, Heather? Going good, thank you. And how long have you been teaching? I've been teaching for about five years. Oh, that's great, you enjoy it? Yes, absolutely love it. And what's your team dancing for us tonight? Tell us a bit about it. Um, we're just doing a cho uh, choreography routine, so um, yes. I'm looking forward to seeing that. Let's welcome Melody High, Land Dancing. <laughs> Most judges form their judging a three major criteria, interpretation, technique, and what else? This is worth 10 points. Um, presentation? Not 100% sure. You're going presentation? Yeah. Do you agree on that, Sarah, or do you want to try and change? No, I think I can say this. I'm judging the judgment. <laughs> Alright, so we're walking in. Presentation. All right, question four, this is worth 30 points, but before that, we're going to cut over to Greg and Cheryl. So how you both went? Heather Bell is doing rather well so far. 20 points out of 30, but there is a triple point question coming up. Oh, well done, not too bad. So this is worth 30 points this one for you, Sarah. Question four, World Highland Dance Championship 
has been held at the Cal Highland Gathering since what year in the 1930s? And this is worth 30 points, Sarah. You get this one, we put you right up the front. World Highland Dance Championship has been held at the Cal Highland Gathering since what year in the 1930s? I'm going to go stand in the dark and say 1934. You're going 1934? Sure. <laughs> what do you think of that, Heather? Do you agree on that? Alright, so you want to lock in 1934? Yeah. Alright, thanks. We're locking in 1934. And we'll see how you go at the end of the show. Coming up after the break, the president of the Victorian Highland Dance Association. See you soon. And welcome back, viewers. And someone just come to visit me, the lovely Amy Ryan from Amy's Dance Talk. How are you, Amy? I'm good, Glenn. How about yourself? Not too bad. I've been seeing her in. You've been doing a bit of groove dancing. I have. I've heard nothing about it before I started this series, but you put me into dance and I actually had a ball. It was so much fun. Yeah. And you really liked it? I did. You, um, I learned heaps of moves and the people just had so much energy. It was good. And the teacher was Miranda Groove. What a name, Miranda Groove. I know. Lovely lady. <laughs> yeah, she was beautiful. <laughs> Let's have a look at this, viewers. Amy doing some groove dancing. I'm down here with Miranda from Groove Dance. Miranda, can you tell us a bit about that? Um, yeah, groove is a new style of dance in Melbourne. Um, it's We've just launched it um, in the last couple of years. So it's just really slowly growing, but it's just a really fun, simple dance class that's a little bit different from all the others that are out there at the moment. Um, it basically just offers simple moves, but gets all the participants to sort of add their own style. So it basically looks like a big party where everyone's just dancing their own way, but everyone's doing the same move or the same rhythm. So they're always told what to do, but they do it in their own style and it makes it really fun. Oh wow, that sounds fun. Yeah. Thank you. Je 